a lot of times I get the question, how did you do it? How did you change things for women in the military and women's equality? And how did you open up, you know, 238,000 jobs to women? And my answer is always, I didn't. <laughs> I was a big contributor or a, a contributor. Um, but it wasn't me. It was hundreds of women, lawyers, PR, women veterans, male veterans. And the, the fight has been going on for a very long time. The, the, ground exclusion, the ground combat exclusion policy has been in place for just over 10 years. So it's, it's a fight that's been being um, fought since before I was even a pilot. So I just want to make that clear. But how do you become a contributor to a change effort like that? The answer is... The summary of the quote by Gandhi that most people are familiar with, that you have to be the change you want to see in the world. I didn't realize it at the time, but throughout my career, I was acting as the example for changing this policy. At the time, what I was doing was proving a certain group of people wrong who had been telling me my whole life that I couldn't do this, one at a time. But what I didn't realize until this point in my career was that uh, throughout my career, I had been acting in a way that could later be used as an example. And it really drove home the point to me that if you are what you want to see in the world, that that's the big first step. So without all the groundwork that had been laid by myself and others, this change never would have come, come, come across because it wasn't that the lawsuit went to the Supreme Court and it was ruled in our favor. The lawsuit was going on for three months and the Joint Chiefs of Staff, based on recommendations from their commanders, they recommended to the Secretary of Defense to lift it, and he did. 